If I could ever turn back time and do it all again, you know that I would. You know that I would. And if I could live it every night and do it all again, you know that I would. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Europe unboxing. So I'm currently in Paris, and the way that I want to be doing this video is filming these unboxings, like on site or on location of where i actually am so they are true unboxings because traveling back i'm going to have to pick and choose which boxes and bags to save so we're doing the things that i got in paris the store i chose to get things from in paris is dior they are a french brand so i had to get dior and also they are my most favorite luxury brand ever we were able to get an appointment with a sales associate through our driver yesterday and it was such a cool experience because the store we went to was the 30 avenue montaigne store which historically is the oldest dior store and then it's also connected to the dior museum so our sales associate was also able to bring us there she personally escorted us into the building and I saw that it was sold out before we even went to the appointment, but she was still able to bring us in and we were actually like the last people allowed into the museum. So it was cool because there wasn't a lot of people. So it was really nice, really special. And honestly, I think it's the highlight of my Paris trip this far. So let's get into what I got. This is the bag. They have their own special 30 Avenue Montaigne store bag and I think a lot of the stores in Europe like the different brands have their original store still up so I think Chanel's like their first store has also a special bag that it comes with I think Prada in Milan has a special bag as well because that store is also really iconic so we have the Dior version which is really exciting and the paper here on the side is because we had the shopping shipped or delivered to our hotel because afterwards um, we went to the museum. We didn't want to be carrying it around. And then we also went to another location, which I'm going to later be talking about. So let's get into the bag. Also, I feel like I should note this bag smells amazing. It was next to my bed as I slept last night and I just smelled it throughout and it was like so good. The iconic Dior packaging this is the ribbon it came in lots of paper we cannot bring with us what is this? oh this is my mom's t-shirt she got a shirt that she's always wanted like whenever we go to the dior store in our hometown she always looks at it so <laughs> she decided to get it now and then this was a part of the clothing rack that our essay brought into our dressing room and it's also been a piece I've been looking at for so long and I'm like, I'm never going to get this because it's kind of like ridiculous. And honestly, it's kind of a piece where it's like, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. There's no in between. But I love it because you could like wear it so many different ways and it's a casual piece. So, without further ado, these are them. <laughs> the Christian Dior shorts so do you want to say I will be sharing this with my mom <laughs> this is not just mine but isn't this so cool like we're going to the south of France next and I could just imagine wearing this if it doesn't rain because it's forecasted to rain but look how cute it still smells like the store also <laughs> The material is so thick also it's not super thin and then i love the zipper you know what would be really cute with this is if i wear this with like my little bikini top because it matches i did another unboxing of that and i'll put it on top of this video so you guys can easily click onto it but that would be so cute the next item is this I think by the size of the box, if you're an avid Dior fan, you would probably already know what it is. But let me just show y'all. It's a little scarf. And it's one of these silk ones, I believe. 
They're like double sided with different colors. So we just got the oblique pattern. And then I just am excited to wear this in my hair. We have different ways. Like there was like a whole head scarf situation, which I can also wear with the shorts and with the bikini I have. Very South of France moment, so. That'll be cool. It's very huge because you could also wear this as like a top if you want to like tie it a certain way. So very versatile. <gasps> There's another one. <laughs> they gave two stars. Oh, there's one already on the back, but there's this one. Oh, how nice. This is the like iconic Avenue Montaigne store location star. Cause it's usually just a solid star with like a little circle in the middle, but this is the special edition one. That's so cool. On to the last item in this bag. Ooh, okay. So I've wanted these sneakers for a while. So they are shoes. This is super exciting. I don't know if I could bring the box, but I really want to. So I'll just show you guys what is in here. And then she also offered to just wrap it without the box, but I was like, no, I'll think about it because I really wanted it. Oh, these are extra laces. Okay, what is this? Did my sandals come with this? It's just a little like info card of like how to take care of it. This is the little bags for each of them. Big reveal. Oops. They are their walk-in sneakers. Ta-da! The exact one is this one right here. I've been eyeing these sneakers, or they came out with the... There's an older version of these where the, it's like clear plastic over it. Um, but I guess they updated it to this. So, that's exciting. And it's so cute. And it's easy to slip on and off. Also, I have very skinny ankles, so this whole part fits me very well. So if the shoe fits me well, it's hard to stand up to it, so. So this next item is also from Dior, but it's in the different location, um, the Champs-Élysées. I think that's how you say it. Also another famous street for shopping. The first Dior that we went to didn't have what I wanted, so yeah, this other store had it in stock, so. You guys can see, this is what I mean by like the original gold star. And then this is the other one. This bag also smells really good. <laughs> we got some chocolates at the store as well. This is it, just a tiny box. But honestly, that's good so that I could possibly take this box home. <laughs> There's a lot of ribbon and paper and boxes now that we have to take into account, especially because we're doing domestic flights in Europe now and they're stricter on weight regulations, so. So you guys would be familiar with this item if you watched my Hawaii vlog. I will also put it on the top here so you guys can watch it. This is the little Christian Dior bralette. It's really cute. You could just wear it super casually with like an oversized jacket over it. So that's what I got at that location. Okay, so welcome to the next place. We're currently in Milan. And of course, because we're in Milan, we had to stop by Prada. You have the original Prada store bag, special edition. I was kind of talking about this in Paris with the Dior, and now we have the same situation with Prada in Milan. So let me just show you what I got. Very simple. It is a bag, if you could tell from the size of it. Very practical purchase. It is one of the nylon crossbody bags. I'm not sure what the actual name of it is called, but yeah. It's super lightweight. The bag I've been using this whole trip is a crossbody Louis Vuitton bag. It's all leather. It's right over here, actually. It's this. It's really cute and heavy, and it matches my outfit and everything, and it matches a lot of outfits, but it's really heavy, especially if you start putting, like, little water bottles in here. So, with bags like this nylon one, 
it won't feel as heavy and it's easier to like put on your body because this one's also just like crossbody. This one, obviously you can crossbody it, but it's like a lot lighter and it has the little mini Prada bag. There's two straps. This is honestly really simple. And then the main compartment, which is really good that there's still a zipper covering it because sometimes you just don't want to buckle it every single time. So yeah, that's what I got in Milan. It is a new day. We are still in Milan, but the shopping has not stopped. I have gone to Goyard today. We have this in the Bay Area, but again, it is much cheaper over here in Europe. The price is just lower. Even if you don't do that, you still save money. So I thought I'd get myself a little Goyard bag. This is more of a like practicality purchase because I think I'm going to use this for school. So yes, it's a tote bag. When I first went in line for Goyard, let me tell you, it was like 30 minutes just standing and the line was not moving. Honestly, throughout the whole street of shops, we went to the Via Monte Napoleone Street where all the shopping was. This Goyard store was the only one with a line. That just shows the popularity of this brand, but without further ado, let me unbox this giant bag huge i got it big because i have a big laptop they have very simplistic packaging oh my gosh there we go on this side of the bag they have this sticker i think this just says that how old the brand is i don't know how else to show this this is huge you have their yellowish wrapping paper and then you have the bag in the dust bag i think this cannot fit in the check-in because of how large the bag is but we'll see we'll make it work okay so this is the bag reveal i was looking at three different colors um one of them was not in stock but i'll show you the one i got and the one i got was the one that i had a feeling i'd walk out with because it's just more me it's kind of the safer option but i got a black artois tote in the mm size the other colors i was looking at was green and blue i know the green is really popular but i just don't think it matches my skin tone as well as probably the blue would because it would have been more of a pop of color um but they didn't have the blue in stock but that doesn't really matter because i did have a feeling I would like this black one more because it's more neutral. It won't show the wear as much. So, yeah, that's what I got. And I got the MM size because I did want it to fit my 15 inch laptop. Ooh, wait. I have my laptop here with me right now so we could see if it fits or not. And then I wanted this tote specifically because there was a zipper and there's more structure compared to the more popular tote, I think, is the St. Louis. <laughs> We were also in the store with my cousin and she wasn't even planning on getting a bag, but she got one also. It's the same color, but in the smaller size and the same tote style. Let's see. This is it with the case. Oh my God, my laptop is so heavy. It fits in and I could zip it. Let me zip it real quick. So if anyone is out there wondering if their 15 inch laptop will fit, Sam, it does perfectly. And it doesn't even look super bent either. Like it still has the regular structure with just like one singular slim heavy item. I really just got this for like school purposes whenever I need to go somewhere and bring a lot of items or like a change of clothes somewhere. And then this is the inside. I think this is a pocket. Oh, it's more, yeah, it is like a little pocket. And then what is this? I don't know what this is. This is the inside pocket with the pattern again on the inside. This is probably just like a care card yeah it's just like care instructions it leads you to a website so that is all i got today in milan i also wanted to share a couple of dresses that i got during our day trip yesterday to sermion by lake garda there's a little boutique there that i thought was really cute so i'm gonna show you guys these dresses they aren't luxury like the other items in this haul but i figured i'd show them because 
it is not like any dress I've seen before in the Bay Area. Um, not that these are like super special edition like Italian dresses, but like I have not seen these in boutiques in the Bay Area. So I got them and I got them in the same style, just different colors, which just shows how much I love them. So the first one I got is this brown color. It's a knit bodycon dress with a v-neck and then there's like a slit here at the bottom. I'll have videos of it on my body and I'll put it on the screen. It's super comfortable and sometimes with the sparkly threads you can feel it and it's a little scratchy but you don't feel it with this one. And then the second color I got is this blue. I plan to wear these in like formal nights or the formal dinners on the cruise so these will be perfect because they're not super formal but they're like casual enough to like wear to just dinner so that's what i got from sermion and a little boutique by lake garda okay we are at our next destination now we are on the cruise here in naples which is our first port of call and I thought my unboxing video ended, but I got another thing. It's really exciting because I saw the shop on TikTok. Not really luxury, but it's a cute boutique that I wanted to visit. Didn't think I'd have time for, but we did because we ended up having a driver and not doing a shore excursion. So I was able to make a little detour here in Positano. I went to CB Positano which is super exciting. I saw it blow up on TikTok last year and I was like, I have to go there if I could. And then when I went in there, it, I think it was one of the most busiest shops and a lot of the styles were like starting to get less and less. So I think if you wanna go to the store, go early in the morning when they have probably the most styles available. I'm happy with the dress I got. I wanted a short dress and a maxi, but I just got a maxi, so. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I need a scissor. Okay, big reveal of the dress I got. I think they hand make all of their dresses, so that explains the steep price a little bit. But it's really, really cute because you don't really see these in the Bay Area. So, I got this cute maxi. I'm gonna try this on and show you guys so that you see, have a better idea of how it actually looks. But it's cute because it has like little tears on it. That is what I got from CB Positano. I think they have an online store now because of how much they blew up on TikTok. This dress is the Olivia dress. So you kind of see it here and this is the name of the shop. So that's what I got here in Naples. This is the dress on. It's a cute maxi and it fits really well. I think they only make one size of this, but it's like super stretchy. And I think they want to lessen the amount of dresses that they make because they are handmade. So they just stick to super stretchy dress styles. So that's the dress, open back, maxi. It's perfect length for me and I'm super short. So, and I'm five three, so perfect. So I thought this video would have ended on the cruise, those last couple of items, but an amazing opportunity presented itself as I was flying home. That's why I am now home. This is the last location. I got an item at CDG. Flying home from Rome, we had a layover at Paris and everyone knows that airport is basically like a shopping mall. So I thought I would get this item. And honestly, I think I saved the best for last. So one of the perks of shopping at the airport is there's already VAT removed so you don't have to do the whole process of going to Global Blue or trying to find planet kiosks, going through customs, all of that. So it was really easy to get this item and really convenient because it was without tax already and the price was amazing to look at compared to what you would have seen in the boutiques or here in the US. So they gave us this and conspicuous bag so that no one was like staring at it. But I will reveal what I got. Very exciting. Ta-da! 
iconic red bag from Cartier. So this is kind of like a grad present from my parents to me because I did graduate from my four year. I'm heading to my master's in the fall. So a lot of accomplishments for this year. So wanted to get an item to commemorate it. So going straight into what is in the bag. I have obviously the main item, but I'll do the little tiny ones first. They gave us some free samples of perfumes that they have. I've never really smelled any Cartier perfumes before, so my parents were with me, so they gave my dad cologne. I don't know. Perfume. It's still called perfume. Um, and then one for me and my mom. I think this is the name of it. We got those little samples. And for those that are nervous about shopping at the airport, because I knew that I was because I feel like Oh, I'm not going to get like the real boutique experience. I definitely felt like it was a regular boutique. They, I went in, someone greeted me. I said what I wanted. They looked for it. And then on top of that, they were like, do you want to try on any other bracelets? We were kind of in a rush. So I didn't try on anything else, but they definitely offered it. And then checking out was also just like a regular experience. It didn't feel rushed or anything because I know sometimes in the airport, it feels like go 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 so definitely did not feel like it once you're in the boutique it's like you're in another you're basically like in a mall like in a regular boutique the next things are the receipts in here you just throw that over there and then i have the certificate of authentication i don't know how much i'm allowed to show of this but I just cover the bottom half. And now we get to the big item. So let's just get into it. It comes with a booklet at the top. Pretty standard, I think. What is this? That's just how to use it. I got a another love bracelet but in white gold to match this on my wrist so cute i wanted i was thinking between the regular gold or this white gold but i do like mixing metals so fun fact with this purchase i was wearing the same pants i wore when i bought this yellow one so it was kind of like a full circle moment it honestly just proves how comfortable those pants are but i'll insert some pictures between when I first got this gold one, which is like around five years, almost five years ago at this point, and that silver one, I am wearing basically the same outfit, which is really funny, so yeah. So I have a couple of other things left in this white bag. This is another travel pouch, which is super helpful. When I travel, I bring a, the screwdriver of the gold one and I leave it in here and I have it in like my jewelry pouch just in case I have any issues in the airport. Um, I have beeped a couple of times now traveling throughout Europe, but it, I think it was because of my hair clip that has metal in it. And then they see that I have this and they're like, can you take it off? I'm like, no. So it's not like they're going to force me to take it off or they're going to take it off themselves. So I feel like you don't really have to do it, but it's a just in case scenario. So super helpful. And then I got this. I feel like I had to ask for this a little bit because I was wondering if it came with the bracelet and I brought it up. But this is just basically their cleaning kit. I don't know where mine went from the gold one, but this is just like any other cleaning kit that they have it has the solution or it's a lotion and then wipe i don't what, what do you call this cleaning cloth and then a little brush i know some people are scared to use the brush on their bracelet but i have so many scratches on this thing i feel like it's not that scary to use it on here that is the last item of the unboxing i'm really excited that i got to do this for you guys because the first time i got this i was not filming for youtube yet so it was kind of like a catch-up thing that i got to do and show you guys and share that brings us to the end of the video because i'm home no longer buying things from europe and i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video i know i was looking at so many like hauls and unboxing 
boxing before I went to Europe just because I know a lot of people shop there. It is a place to go crazy. <laughs> but yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I plan to do my Europe vlogs and put them out before this video so that chronologically it makes sense. So if you have not watched those yet, I highly suggest that you do. I filmed my entire year of vacation. We were there for basically a whole month going everywhere. We went to so many, so many cities. And yeah, I highly suggest you watch those. And with that, I will end off this video. I hope you guys subscribe and I hope to see you all in another video. Bye. If I could ever turn back time and do it all again, you know that I would.